Guys, today I'm showing how to use these king oyster mushrooms. We're gonna make some citrus garlic butter glaze um, fillets. So I'm gonna score them. Super simple, super easy. Bring in mushroom center plate. You're not gonna wanna miss this, so stay tuned. Now you can find these mushrooms uh, in Tesco at the, if you're in the UK, and at farmer's markets, and at Asian markets, and some retailers do sell them. We want more to sell them, so definitely ask your local grocer to start carrying king oyster mushrooms. I am gonna start warming up the pan. We are gonna press these for an even sear. I'm just gonna put it on low, this here. So quickly, I cut the mushrooms in half, and I like to do a good amount. So if I bought three containers, three come into a pack uh, here, so you can get a good nine mushrooms, but then cut in half. So I'm just to score them, it's just going like this. All right, so you're just gonna wanna do each of these. I also do these when we do the scalloped mushrooms, so set it aside. And it really makes a visually amazing difference when you're serving them, but also it lets the flavor get inside the mushroom a little bit more. So I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to the pan. I have not played or tried to do this with no oil, so I'm adding oil because there's nothing in here and I want that mouth feel. So I know there's some people out there that like the no oil recipes and I totally applaud that. I just, this isn't one of them. Now I'm just gonna rest the top pan, the other skillet. If you don't have two cast iron skillets, you know, you can use another pot, um, obviously a little wider. I've seen some people get super creative with that. Whatever creative ways you guys seem to do the pressing technique without two cast iron pans, tag Wicked Kitchen and let me see. I I'd love to see it. And I do check out almost all that. These mushrooms, what happens if you don't press them, they tend to buckle, so pressing them definitely helps even the color out, and it's gonna take another minute though. Yeah, I'll show you, so we understand. So, you can see how this buckles. It's, it kinda looks like a canoe, where it just like contracts, and it's naturally, it's gonna happen when it's heated. But I wanna even sear across it, and you can see how it curves the shape of it just curves. So I want that even sear, and the pressing helps with that sear. and helps create and maintain and keep that even fillet shape. That's really important for appearance, one, also taste and texture, because I want this to be a great, it is a great substitute for animal products. And I mean, the, the better, you know, we all eat with our eyes, so the better it looks. The more likely we're gonna convince people that this is the answer, because it is. Yeah, nice golden brown color, check that out. Gorgeous. The middle one, where there's the least heat, uh, they'll have the least color. So I'll end up switching those around. The ones on the ends in the middle. So I'm gonna press it again. Just hold that on there. So while that's going, Couple cloves of garlic, or a good sized cloves, five maybe. So I'm gonna season this a little bit of, uh, very, very simply seasoned in the pan, so a little bit of the garlic granulars. Now I'm using garlic granulars, I'll use fresh garlic after for the sauce, but I want to use the granulated garlic now because it won't burn. If I use fresh garlic right now, it, it would burn too much. A little bit of salt and pepper, and it's okay if it just goes on the pan. I'm also gonna add a little bit of Oil, a little bit more. Flip these again. And then just one last rest. Doesn't have to be pressed too much, a little bit. I'm gonna chop this garlic up. So we are gonna make like a garlicky, buttery sauce. So do this a little bit thinner, somewhat of a mince. So I'm just gonna transfer these to a baking sheet because we're gonna do these in batches. Look at that, it looks gorgeous. And we're gonna add the rest, some of the mushrooms. So now that pan is ripping, so it won't take as long as that first batch. 
What I'm going to do is very on low, low heat. Oops, on the front burner there. I'm going to add some butter. So this is vegan butter, just plant-based butter, whatever your favorite kind is. I'm actually going to put the garlic in the butter. So after that first batch, that pan is nice and hot. It's got that even heat and it happens pretty quick. So this is great coloring. Smells delicious, guys. We are going to roast these in the oven. We're going to make the sauce. I'm going to pop these in the oven for about 10 minutes to finish them off. And I'm going to finish off the sauce. For the citrusy flavor, we're going to use orange, lime, and lemon. And we're just going to cut them all in half. And just squeeze them into the strainer. So strainer over the pot here. So we have some nice balance of sweet from the orange, a little tang from the lemon. Now the lime. So you can use just lemon if you want. You can use just lime. You can use definitely do just orange glaze. Um, but I like to mix it up a little bit here and there. Always a little bit different. And the flavors of having all of them, just because I have them all in the house. So now I'm going to turn this heat up a little bit. And bring that to a boil. It's good. Very tangy. Uh, I do have some parsley. I'm going to add a little bit of the, uh, agave, maybe a tablespoon. Whisk. So as that comes to a boil, I'm going to crank the heat up a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is add the butter. So the garlic butter, it's already melted. I'm just going to whisk this in. So I just want to whisk it so it doesn't break. And just slowly drizzle that garlic butter into it. Oh, it's good. A little bit of salt. It's just sweet enough, but twangy and citrusy. You can get all the orange, lemon, and lime flavors. So I'm going to add the parsley. Just going to flake in some non melted. Of that. And that'll give it a little bit more creamy texture. Okay, so now for the mushrooms. It's hot. Beautiful. Normally I would eat these right off the pan. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to say. I'll just eat it right off the pan and pot sometimes. I am gonna plate it up. Super simple. Just the mushrooms. You guys, this is great with any vegetable. Jasmine rice, brown rice, mashed potatoes, whatever you want. This would go with very well. I'm just going to pick the best ones. Here. Large spoon. Yeah, it's super simple. Cool, and that's it. Super simple, you guys. Are you ready now? Are you ready? Okay. All right, so we're gonna taste these. Sorry, these guys are killing me, the crew. All right. Like my steak knife. <laughs> you guys, check that out. Mmm. The crispy, the mushroom is still crispy. And that glaze, super nice. Dude, you guys are gonna love this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Share with all your mushroom friends or anybody who needs to eat more veggies, mushrooms. Great recipe, you're gonna love it, you guys. Enjoy, see you soon. Always taking care of the pans. Again, I didn't do much to this. Gonna wipe it out. I'm gonna run it under cold water for one second just to get the film off it. 
there's one thing that you know about me, clean as you go, work as you go, take care of your equipment, and it'll always serve you really well. A little bit of oil. Quick brush, you guys, and it's run, done and ready for the next time. Very easy.